In this video, we will see how to add English font in OLED. Please watch tutorial number 1 and 2 before this tutorial. Their links are given in the description. First of all, we will create hex code for the English font. Open GLCD software, GLCD font creator software. Then go to file, then new font, then import an existing system font after clicking there this window will open uh, i'm going to uh, i'm going to add this df gothic dash eb font and this will be font style will be regular and font size i'm selecting 18 and then okay then uh, make sure these all uh, check marks are checked and we want to add uh, characters with ASCII code 32 to 127 then press OK these are the characters these are the characters uh, whose hex number will be generated now press this export for glcd then select this micro c our font is 12 by 24 that is there will be 12 columns and 24 uh, rows uh, this is the hex code for each character one line represent one line represent uh, hex hex code for one character here in comment you can see the here in comment you can see which line represent which character for example this line represent character this four character that is number 4 this line represent L character now first of all we will calculate number of bytes required to store this array it is very big it is very big array now we will calculate number of bytes required to store single character that is this uh, single this matrix uh, which uh, which contains this b character for that it will require 24 vertical vertical pixels that that is uh, that will require 3 bytes and there will be 12 columns so number of uh, bytes required will be 3 bytes into 12 columns that is 36 bytes and then glcd font creator software add one byte in each each character so number of bytes will be 37 bytes per character so we are adding character with ASCII code 32 to 127 that will be 96 characters and uh, memory required to store this 96 character will be 37 into 96 that will be 3552 so this uh, this this much memory will be required to store our font and this array that is uh, this font will be stored in ram but we can see here yes ram of the arduino is 2048 2048 and our requirement is 3050 3552 uh, so solution for this is store font array in flash memory flash memory is 32 kb in arduino to store our array in flash memory there is function called progmem in arduino you can find its detail on official site of arduino now we will see how this array store our characters as i said one line represent uh, one character so um, index of this first first item is zero and index of this last item of first line is 36 because number of items in first line are 
37 and the next characters uh, start from index 37 and end at 73 uh, in this way each line contain 37 character 37 items um, and each line represent one character keep in mind that first item of each line does not represent any pixel in character so we need to omit these items while programming now we will see program to print this english font this is the same program which was used in tutorial number two there are small changes that i will explain here we define one here we defined uh, character vertical pages required that is three that is uh, there are 24 pixels and one uh, one page contain eight pixels so number of pages required will be three so here we define three and character horizontal columns required are 12 here we can see number of columns are 12 so here we define 12 and here here number of number of bytes uh, for per character is 37 as we saw here as we calculated here as we calculated here and uh, first character ascii code is 32 uh, as we defined earlier in glcd software you can see here 32 that is defined here then then we copied then we copied this full array here here in Arduino now we will see function to print one character uh, this is the array containing our characters input to this function is character this ascii to array index this variable stores the line number line number here uh, we have subtracted first character ascii code from the character so it will uh, it will contain a line number then character start in array this this variable will store index of the first uh, first item in the line then this for loop is for incrementing the columns and this for loop is for incrementing the pages and here we are setting the cursor here we calculated the index of next byte to be displayed and here we read byte from a flash memory and that will be stored in this care byte and then we wrote that care byte to the OLED. To print the string, we need to call this print character function in loop till the string length. And also we need to shift the x coordinate before printing the character. Now we will uh, we will call this print string function and we will pass this English string and we will upload this program and then we will observe output on OLED this is the output we observe on OLED thank you for watching this video in next next video tutorial we will see how to add uh, Indian uh, languages like uh, Hindi or Marathi for more details, please visit the blog.